Drug 7 here, and welcome back to DeAndre Reads. We're going to be reading Chapter 16 of Attributes of the Heart. What, you guys thought I was done reading Attributes of the Heart? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are, look into my eyes. Are you kidding me right now? No, 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 no. You see, I, I, I already read Chapter 16 a while back. You, you, you guys thought I was just going to skip a chapter just because I read it? No, I need to share its gloriness with you. Because my friend Orange, my friend Orange knows how to make, my, my friend Orange knows how to write, write better than me. All right. So next time you guys think that I'm done, that I'm done reading this stuff, oh, you thought wrong. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't remember what happened last time and I'm too lazy to recap right now. But Orange... I know you're watching this right now. We both know I'm. We both equally know that I'm lazy. So, without further ado, let, let, let's get, let's just get right into the book. Let's just get right into the chapter. We are now reading attributes of the heart. I have not done that in a while. I'm excited. Kai, are you absolutely sure you're ready to go home after what happened today? Kai nodded confidently. I'm ready to face my stepmother. Alex frowned at Kai, seemingly worried. But what if she grounds you again and makes sure you don't leave your room? We can't get that artifact without you. There might be a dark one protecting it like the last one. Kai smiled thankfully at her best friend. Don't worry. I've got this covered. Alex sighed. Not worrying is the only thing I can't do for you. He mumbled. Kai hugged Alex and slowly made her leave. It wasn't too late at night. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hold on. It wasn't too late at night. But still late. She shivered as she walked to her room. It wasn't a long rock. A rock? A, a long rock. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a long walk, but in the dead of night... It sure felt... Wait, what? It wasn't a long walk, but in the dead of night, it sure felt like it was taking forever. Her thin hoodie did nothing to help insulate her insulate her body. I'm sorry, there's so many freaking... Notifications going off on my phone! Why didn't I not put... Oh! There we go. We fixed everything. It didn't help... It didn't help that Kai thought it might start pouring soon. Kai pondered if she should have just asked Alex's mom to drop her off, but then dismissed the thought because she knew Mrs. Sharp already had enough on her plate. She, sh she couldn't help but get the feeling that she was being watched as she made her way down the sidewalk. DeAndre had said something similar, that he often felt like he was being watched, but surely these two instances are unrelated. Right? Kai couldn't help but feel like, feel that they were. Kai couldn't help but feel that they were. Kai felt a chill slowly creep down her spine and chill. Wait. I keep pausing. I keep pausing when I'm not supposed to pause. Kai felt the chill slowly creep down her spine and chill. And chill. Stop pausing! Kai felt the chill slowly creep down her spine and chill her to her very core. I almost paused. Y'all heard that stutter? <laughs> Suddenly, there was a loud, non-human screeching figure that pounced on top of Kai Clawing at her face. <laughs> okay. So I'll, never, I'll never do that again. Some of y'all probably sitting at the edge of your bed scared. You're cuddling to your Pikachu plushie because you know you like Pikachu. And you guys are just like, do not eat me, DeAndre. Okay, anyway. <laughs> she screamed. Reaching for a concealed pen as whatever was attacking her tried pinning her da pinning down her arms. She thrashed and screamed and tried using her nails against her assailant. Anything that would protect her. 
Kai could tell this wasn't a human, nor was it an animal. She knew exactly what it was. One of her legs started to feel like jelly. She couldn't see it, but she could feel a dark one trying to consume her, limb by limb. The one leg, wait, the one leg felt cold and soon started to feel like it didn't even exist. She drew out her, she drew out her own and uncapped it. As Kai tried to stab the dark one, the sword was slapped out of her hand and fell in, onto the asphalt. Both of her legs felt like nothing now, and she could feel it creeping up her hips. No! She desperately screamed, grabbing at the sword that was just out of her grasp. Ooh, she lucky. Plot, plot device right there. Everything below Kai's chest felt like it didn't exist now. Just like her legs, Kai struggled as it slowly ate her left arm and the left side of her face. She could only start to cry from one eye as she felt her sword just barely elude her grasp. Please. No! She begged three-fourths of her face going into the void, as well as part of her right arm. Finally, she struggled close enough to grab it. Only her right eye and right arm were left. With a burst of speed and strength, she lifted her sword in to stab the Dark One, but she hesitated. What if she was still really there, and she just ended up killing herself? with her own weapon. It was just a risk Kai was willing to take. She brought down the sword upon the dark one. It's squealing. Hurry! <laughs> I need to stop. An unholy sound and pain and retreating. Kai could feel her everything again. She watched as the dark one slowly turned into an even more liquidy like a goo. The dark-haired girl watched it for almost five minutes, waiting for it to come back alive. It didn't. Slowly, very slowly, Kai stood up, exhausted again from this encounter. Kai was glad she wasn't near her neighborhood. She didn't want any attention from screaming in the dead of night. Kai staggered towards her sur suburban home, knowing that her stepmother's scolding would be hell. But she also knew that nothing would be as hellish as what just happened, or so she thought. So I think the thing that I like about uh, chapter 16 is that the beginning of the chapter makes it seem like we're about to get a fight between, um, focus between Kai and her stepmother, but it totally takes you away. It's just like, oh, she's walking through, she's walking through the night or whatever, and it's like, oh, uh, this is just unnecessary filler for the chapter, and then a dark one comes out of nowhere, and that's where it gets all climactic. That's what I really love about this chapter. So, if you guys are interested, um, I'll try to leave a link, I'll try to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can go read it for yourselves. I recommend that you read it. My friend Orange, he is golden. Why am I holding my fingers like this like I'm holding a cigarette? Like, that Smoking is bad for you kids. Do not try it. It's not good. It's not good. It's going to kill you from the inside out. Okay. But anyway, make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I know I'm a horrible reader, but, you know, when I'm in front of the camera, I tend to show off sometimes. Um, and I stutter a lot, so <laughs> that's a, that's another... Uh, the. I'm already freaking... That's another disadvantage. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, make sure you guys comment down below if you guys want more DeAndre reads or you guys want me to read to something. Read to something else. Yes, I'm going to read to an object. If you guys want me to read something else, make sure you comment down below and make sure you guys subscribe where I don't just make these reading videos. I also make reactions, uh, cartoons, skits, uh, 
singing videos apparently you guys saw, you guys heard that that thriller theme uh a while back and um you know much more i basically do everything on this channel and this channel isn't just just one thing so i hope you guys uh subscribe you know help my boy out but that's all i have to say so i'll see you guys next time hope you guys have a good day i love you guys deandre Rock 7 oh. ready, ready. i don't get ready i stay ready because the consequences is heavy my man d said he would never quit even though the thing's heavy we push like a seven seven chevy boy ready ready my whole click since 06 was on the bottom now we running this grind hard when the low gets heavy the money was slow but now it's ready you boys is not ready